Hello, this is Paul from First Side Tech. In this video, let's prove theorem 1.5.1, uh, which is the real operations by matrix multiplication. The theorem says uh, a specific real elementary real operation can be described, expressed as a matrix multiplication. Okay, just the left multiply the same type of uh, uh, elementary real matrix. So see. And that the result. Um, this uh, theorem is super important. Okay, we just link the raw operation and the matrix multiplication together. Okay, so super important. So let's give a proof. Uh, I will not give a complete proof. I just verify the special size of three by three matrix. Okay, let's just verify. Um, this three by three. Okay, so let's say the matrix A. Let's set up a matrix A. Uh, is this A I J? Okay, three by three. And the elementary matrix so we have a three types. Okay, so I will verify type by type. Let's uh, see type one. First type of uh, row operation, uh, which is a multiply a non-zero number to a row, right? So let's do uh, this given matrix A. So now the matrix, mm, let's write in this general so A11, A12, A13, right? A21, A22. Oops. A two three, A three one, A three two, A three three. Okay, so let's first do a row operation, and then later we will see the matrix multiplication. See if we can get the same result. Do uh, this multiplication. Mm, uh, multiply a number. So let's. Uh, Pick the second row, okay. So we'll multiply k non zero number k to the second row, okay. Let's do this multiply uh, second row. Let me simply say row two by k. k is non zero, of course, okay. And this is the first type of a row operation. The results I will get, of course, it's easy to see. The second row will change it to k times, right? So k times uh, a 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. So I did not change it the first. OK. That's the result. <clears throat> Um, so now the second uh, I do matrix multiplication. So first uh, let's find an elementary matrix. Uh, what does this mean? This corresponding to what? This corresponding to this uh, elementary matrix. So the elementary matrix means uh, perform the same operation to identity. Imagine what do we get? We will get this. We will get a one k one and zero 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 zero. Right. Okay. The theorem says uh, these uh, results by the row operation the same as uh, multiply this specific type of elementary to the left of this matrix. Uh, let's verify. Is that true? Um, so I put this matrix first. This is A. Okay, and then left multiply E matrix. Uh, the E matrix is this one. I do matrix multiplication. See, what do we get? We will get a definite three by three, right? Uh, so I use the uh, row by row. Okay, so just think about it. So what is the first row? The first row is the first row of uh, the left matrix multiply okay the matrix which is a column 
one by one. Let's just do calculation. See the first row multiply the first column, which is a one one. First row and the second column a one two. First row. Yeah, of course we did not change. See, we did not change the first row. Okay. So now think about uh, what is the second row. The second row came from second row of this. So this time the first column we get a K times A21. The second column A22. The third column A23. Yes. And then the last you verify. Okay, so the no change of the third row. Yes. Can you see? And the major one here, these two metrics are exactly the same, right? Can you compare? The same. Okay, so therefore good. We verified the first okay, the first type. <clears throat> uh, and then let's verify the same. Okay, so I verify the second type. So let me quickly get type two. Um again let's get the matrix. Okay. And then let's do the second type of row operation, which is uh the second is uh, interchange, right? So let's uh, interchange um, row one and row two is that okay? Row one and uh, row two. See, of course I will get this. Uh, right, oh, uh, here, sorry. So I write it wrong. Okay, just a change. So we get a result. Um, so now we look at it, the corresponding elementary matrix. This time is this. And they change the first two and the second, the first and the second row of identity, right? Which is, yeah, which is this uh, elementary matrix. And then uh, let's uh, multiply this uh, elementary matrix to the left of the matrix A. I will compare the result. Okay, times the elementary okay now we do calculation see <clears throat> uh, so the row by row okay so the first row which is uh, see, row by row okay I use this row uh, multiply by the first column second column third column and I put it to the first row which is this All right and then the second row multiply which I get this and then the third row multiply I get it and now can we compare and it is a two matrix definitely the same right okay so this is a two the second type is also two the last time, let me write the matrix first. And then we do operation, row operation. Uh, so the third type of row operation, let's pick one. Okay, I say add the add a K, non-zero number K times the first row to the third row. Is that okay? Therefore, it is type. So let's add k non-zero number uh, times the first row. Let's say times the first row uh, to the third row. Okay, and the here k is not a zero. <clears throat> then what is the result we will get? Time, K times the first row added to the third, so I only change it the third. So the third should be equal to 
A31, a large K, A11, right? A32, okay, A12, A33, okay, A13, okay. So we did not change it to the first and the second row. Let me copy. And this is the matrix we get. So now we do uh, matrix multiplication. So first that I get this uh, corresponding to the identity uh, uh, elementary matrix, which is uh, add K times the first row to the third row, okay, from identity matrix. So this is the one I get. Okay, so now let's do calculation. So first let me copy the same matrix A. Now left the multiply by the elementary. Okay, let me copy the elementary. Okay, so now we do matrix multiplication. See? Okay. Uh, you can easily verify by a uh, row by row. Okay, so the first two rows should be no change. And then the third row should be changed, okay, one by one. So this is the matrix I can get. And then now we compare these two matrix, these two matrix, exactly the same. Okay, therefore the last type we also verified. Uh, that's the uh, verification for this theorem. Thank you.